is up guys, this is Carl Collect and today I'll open my newest Spider-Man figure and I'll compare him with my oldest one. Woo! So let's go, let's unbox this bad boy. All right. Oh, that sound, bro. I love it. Okay. Just gonna be careful with the box once again. I never opened like this. Like, okay, it went really well, guys. Very happy. Okay. Oh, Lord. Look at this. Mr. Toby. You got some dirt in your eye. <laughs> Guys, this is amazing. This is so amazing. So I'll just look at all the accessories. From what I see, like, compared to the Dragon Ball stuff, this guy has a lot of hands. You know, he's got some webs. He's got two faces. He's got a mask that's like, you know, you, I guess you can put it in his hand. Yo, this is amazing, guys. <gasps> <laughs> just so happy guys collecting is so much fun i will you know the nostalgia because this figure this spider-man figure was actually my first first figure that's the the one from my childhood you know it's i had this guy since i was like maybe eight or nine so that's the first action figure of, of toby mcguire and spider-man you know ever made and this is like the newest one, so that's so that's why I did this video because I think it's just so cool to have like the first version of him uh, action movie and then the last one, so we can just see real quick the evolution of like all those years that went by uh, b between these figures. So let's go with this bad boy. So that's a Sage Figure Arts guy, Spider Man. Um, if, in case you didn't know, and I will show. Oh. <laughs> Just in like this, draw some, okay? So I'll just go over the box real quick because I forgot to do this. So the front, and I gotta say the art is really cool on the box. The way he swings and you know, just the poses that they give you, it's really reminding of, you know, the Tobey Maguire, the way he swings and everything. So yeah, I love this box. It's really cool. But now back to the main event. Oh my God. So, okay. The first thing I really, oh, okay, so it just feels so fun for me to have like, you know, just, oh, oh, just such a tight figure because my Toby is pretty loose. You know, it's the 2006, I think, Toy Biz, so it's got some age, but, you know, it still holds up very well to this day, and you'll see it, it, it has some really good things going for it, so... So far, guys, I gotta say the articulations feels amazing. Really not too too tight, not too loose. It just moves really well out of the box. And you know, he's got a lot of articulation. I think this guy had like 22. I don't I'm not sure. But this guy, he's got a lot too. Gee, okay. So first first thing I can say, you know, the first thing that comes to my head when I hold this figure is amazing. This is amazing. I love the suit. I just love the design, you know. Just all the lines are accurate. The paint is very good. It, it This is really the texture he had in the, the movie. The costume is really spot on. I would say the, the thing is that the shape is a little, you know, um, I, when I think of Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, I, I think of him, you know, more uh, bulky, you know, when uh, the, the first time, you know, he, he got bitten after the Lucha Dore match you know and then he got he got buff real quick you know the next morning he was all jacked up and he was watching himself in the mirror and he was feeling it so that's how i remember him i think he could have been a little more muscular but aside from this you know the paint is incredible guys the details on this this guy is amazing he is very well made guys sh figure arts I just, I'm falling in love with that line so much. I will buy everything because, yo, I love this. Okay, let me just get him straight so we can watch at the, so we can look at, you know, the stuff that came in the box. Okay. 
So, first things first, let me just, let me show you like this actually because it's gonna fall in. So he's got one, two, three, four, five pair of hands. He's got one pointing hand. He's got one, you know, relaxed hand. He's got one, uh, this looks like, you know, to grab the swing, the, the web. So two uh, hand gra grabbing web hands and two, you know, the normal. And then two relaxed, like just is crawling hands. And then we've got two heads. And this I want to show because, yo, this, this scope is amazing. That's Toby! Finally, that's an upgrade. Yo, I've been waiting so long for an upgrade of this guy. Because I will probably get the Marvel Legends one, but he's hard to find. And uh, yeah, he's pretty hard to find. And to be honest, there was some things that, you know, made me ah uh, about this, this uh, Marvel Legends. But man, this SH figure arts really does it for me. I'm really happy. Just like my bro, Toby. Yeah, we can just, now we can just, you know, see the height. What's the difference? Because, yo, there's a lot of years between these guys. But just, I want, look at this. For a figure of like, I don't know how much, it's more than 10 years, guys. This was amazing. I mean, there's, of course, there's paint, you know, that, that went off because I played so much with it as a kid, you know, but... Yo, just how the costume was made, the lines were so clean, so crisp, it has good texture, the paint was amazing, just the articulation for that time. To be honest, when I was a, a kid, I thought it was too much, because, you know, I, I, I just wanted to play you know, like this, and this guy was always, like, moving, but now as a collector, whoa, I mean, oh, no, Toby. This guy just packs a punch all these years after, and he's still relevant in my eyes, guys. Because when I started, you know, collecting the Spider-Man, the, uh, the first one I got into was the Marvel Legends, you know, the retro collection. So when I went home and realized that I had still had this in my toy box, I was, guys, I flipped. And I forgot that I had the Goblin too. And with the mask, you know, all the parts, the, the glider, there's a missing part there, but I put some hot glue. So it stick the, the two sides together. But yeah, guys. So this one was really well made for for his time. And to be honest, he's just, yeah, he's amazing. And then we can see it side by side with the newest release. So that's Toy Biz and that's SH Figure Arts. So you see the tone of the costume is spot on for both. The texture is amazing. The paint was amazing, both. You know, this one has a more like muscular physique. This one is more, uh, not sloppy, but there's no definition. You know, just the shoulders are not, you know, rounded. Uh, no biceps, uh, no muscles on the leg. You know, just this, this area is a little just maybe flat. So, you know, there's like this, but you know... Yeah, he's, it, it makes good with the goofy side of Toby Maguire and, and, you know, just, you know, how he portrayed Peter Parker. So to me, that's very fine. And I, I'm just so glad that, oh, okay. Yeah, that's going to really go hard, I think. I can't wait to pose him. I'll just do shorts like I do, you know, after, with the new figures. So you'll get, you'll get shorts uh, real soon with this guy posed. And I can't wait. But okay, so let's keep going comparing. So for height... They're pretty much, you know, the same toy biz being maybe uh, just a, a millimeter taller, something like this. But it's really, really, it's really the same. Then, you know, pretty much the same, you know, as far as, yeah, the size is, is, is perfect. So it fits very well with the six inch. It is a six inch. So, and yeah, just let's see, like, if he fits well with the goblin. So, yeah. Goblin, because this is keeping the thing too, so I cannot, you know, move him too much. But guys, as you can see, you know, all these years after, this guy is still holding up so well. And yeah, these are like are for sure grails to me because those are the figures I played with when I was, you know, a kid, and I still have to this day. And you know, I'm a real fan of Spider Man and the Goblin, and just like these two, yeah, for me, it's like Batman and the Joker. So, and. Another thing I got to say, guys, I'm so happy now that I have webs because I never had accessories like this. My Spider-Man did not come with any webs, so I'm very happy I have web effects now. This is going to be awesome to play with. And so, yeah, so we can see like both head sculpts side by side. The eyes are really, you know, pretty much the same. 
you know, the mask is the same. I would say... No, actually, it's pretty much the same color for the eyes. This one is a little more gray metallic. I think it's a little more accurate, but still this one has a metallic finish and, you know, it's kind of, it's gray on purpose. But guys, so this is it. <laughs> this is me, you know, comparing my oldest Spider-Man figure with my newest. Oh, okay, wait a sec, guys. Maybe it's going to be something good there. I'm just going to compare this guy with my Marvel Legends Retro Spider-Man just to see because... They're both like newer figures, and I just wanna maybe add this guy to the mix because I love this guy, yo. So this is the version from the animated series. And yeah, this is like the OG Spider-Man for me too, you know, cartoon-wise. So let's put them together and see how this goes. It's the brother, okay. So, you know, you, oh my gosh, so the Marvel Legends ones is towering over Toby and he's a lot, you know, stronger, uh, just the face sculpt, that's, that's really the cartoony with like more uh, round edge, this is more sharp edge, and yeah, he's, a, he's definitely a lot smaller than the Marvel Legend one, and then if I add also the Toy Biz in the Biz, this is what, we'll, let me just put this one a little more back. This is what we get. So, yeah. So, basically, guys, these are all my Spider-Man that I have, all the versions. And I'm a really big fan of Toby. So, I'm so glad I got, you know, this release. I'm going to have a lot of fun posing him and just, you know, doing multiverse stuff with all these three together. Because, oh, yeah, yeah they like each other. They're all, you know, the same guy. And they're going to fight the goblin. <laughs> So, so guys, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. You know, I know these reviews are nothing serious, but, you know, it's just to show my love for, you know, the Spider-Man figures that I have and, you know, just <laughs> mixing the, the new energy with the old energy, you know, because I still love Spider-Man to this day. I love him so much. So it's just so fun to just have like this newer version of the movie and then like this OG one that bring back all, you know, the memories of me going like to Spider-Man 3 with my friends at the theater and just being costume and, you know, just having such a good time. But guys... This has been, you know, my unboxing and comparison of uh, my newest Spider-Man figure to my oldest one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Have a good day.